Hi everybody, this is Miss Suzanne and it's Tinkering Tuesday again. I'm going to show you how to make a paper airplane today. You need a, one piece of paper and you will hold it in front of you just like this with the short side at your tummy. The first fold is, I just turned it around, the first fold is like this. So you're putting the two sides together. Make sure you meet them up perfectly. Hold it on this side and fold it down on this side. So this is called your fold side, your fold. I push it down very hard with my finger. With paper airplanes, it is important that you make nice sharp folds and that you work very precisely. So what you do on one side of a paper airplane, you always have to do on the other side. So right now I'm going to take this, the corner up here and fold it to the middle. I make sure that there's a point up here. Hold it with these two fingers and flatten it with this. Again, nice sharp fold. What do you think comes next? Yep, this side, right? You have to do the same thing on the other side. Kind of looks like a house. Next fold is the same side here, this folded side that you already folded. It's going to go in the middle again. So I'm going to hold this, make sure that it's a point up here. That's where it gets really tricky. Put it in the middle, the whole line in the middle, and push it down with my thumb. I always hold it on this side so it doesn't slip away from me. And again, on the other side, do the same thing. And make sure you get a good fold. I didn't get really precise here in the tip part, but it'll still be okay. So now your airplane looks more like a rocket ship. You put it in front of you like this, and you fold it in half. And then, this is, this is a bit tricky, but you, I know you can do this. Take one of the flaps here and fold it down, just like this, all the way to the tip. It gets, because it's, the paper is heavy here in the front, there's several layers of it, you have to push down really hard there. Now turn the whole thing over and guess what? You do the same thing with this side. Fold it down to meet the other side. Meet it up perfectly. Here we go. Now I'm going to unfold the wings, hope you can see this, and this part right here is where you hold your airplane to throw it. You can put a staple in here to make sure that it stays together when you fly it. This would be also a good time to decorate your airplane. You can decorate it any way you want to. Um, sometimes I like to add a little detail to it. So I'm going to fold these wings down one more time. You can also take a scissor and cut a little flap right here. And fold that flap down. That's kind of working like the brakes on your airplane. Um, you can adjust those as you're flying your airplane and see, see what they do if you have one flap down and the other one up, standing up like this. Um, the airplane may fly around in a curve. I don't know what it will do, but you will figure this out because you are going to be the test pilots. Um, you can build many different airplanes just by remembering you have to have a middle line and then fold toward that middle line to come to a point. And how you fold it is up to you. That's where the fun part comes in. 
I made several different airplanes. This, this is my Concorde. This one I thought would fly really well, but it didn't. It was a sinker. This is called the Space Shuttle. And you throw it like this. You put your fingers here and then you push it forward. Um, it did fly pretty good, but at first it was went down way too fast, so I unfolded the tip a little bit because it was too heavy in the front. So when it's heavy in the front, it goes down fast. So I unfolded it and it flew a little better. And then this one is kind of a silly one. Um, give it a try and see if you can fly this one. I wasn't very successful with it, but maybe you will be. So all different kinds of paper airplanes. Um, make sure you ask mom and dad how many pieces of paper you can use, but it's fun to try. You are the test pilot, so you get to fly them and see what they do. You can write down your results on a piece of paper if it was a good flyer or not a good flyer, which one of these airplanes went further, which one did not fly very good at all, maybe which one was not a good design that didn't work, and maybe you can even see if your flaps make a difference. So make sure that you look very closely when you throw them and see how they fly. If you get very good at it, maybe you can do some target flying. Make them go through a hoop or make them go as far as you can. See how far they go and measure the distance. Have fun with these. Enjoy and do some good paper folding, okay? Bye-bye.